All right, guys, it's Tuesday. It is um, the 5th of September. For those of you that don't know me, I am Jamie. Um, I am not the usual face of the Tuesday night call. Uh, I am filling in as we are onboarding Courtney. Courtney is going to be our new Tuesday night coach. So she's here. She's going to be taking the notes tonight. Um, Kara will be doing the Tuesday next week. And then I will be on the following Tuesday, but Courtney will be taking over. So if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. Um, Lisa, you were the first one on, so why don't you give us a win? I am here, and I made it through another week, and it was oh so, so, so hectic with the holiday and my kids on a four-day weekend, um, so I'm here. Yay! Yay! What are you, um, let me see, did we find, this is what's hard, Courtney's the one taking that you got it. Do you remember what you were working on, or do you need us to tell you? So I know I was supposed to prepare a couple of meals in advance. That was an absolutely flop. I actually planned them. I didn't actually like do the chopping and all that stuff that I planned to do with it. Um, but I actually planned them. So like when I leave, I'm at football practice now. When I leave here to go home, I know exactly what I am supposed to be cooking when I get there. It's not all prepared like I wanted it to be, but at least I am not trying to figure out what I'm cooking when I get there. Like that part is already done. So I I'm That's excited. Half the battle. <laughs> um so are you this week gonna try the meal prep or do you want to just try sticking with the meal planning part i actually need to get to the meal prepping portion of it in order to get my household back on a schedule that they so desperately need and i so desperately need um I'm struggling. So I'm like, I'm just going to be happy for the baby step. And then I'll build on that baby step for next week. Like I actually went to the grocery store, which I didn't last week. So that's progress improvement. Um, and then I actually know what I'm supposed to be cooking this week. So another, so I'm like, I'm just going to celebrate the small incremental steps in the process and not, you know, beat myself up for not doing everything that I said that I wanted to do, which is usually my MO. I love it. I love it. So do you have planned in your schedule sometime this week to do the prep? So that is where I am struggling, struggling, struggling. So I'm struggling with Sunday planning. Um, I'm, I was on monthly planning, but I'm struggling with monthly planning. But a lot of that is probably because I'm only like halfway through O, so I don't quite have... <laughs> all of the steps down to understand what we're doing and even watching the videos a couple of times after the fact, it goes so fast that it's hard to catch all of the pieces for it to make sense for me to do it. So I'm kind of quasi attempting, but doing my own thing. And it's like, it's a hot mess. So I'm planning this week to make it a little further through O. I want to go through O and A in September so that by the time it comes for next monthly planning, like I, I actually have something under my belt. I know what the heck I'm doing here and it doesn't all feel like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, my suggestion for Sunday of planning is if this is something that's new to you, it's like a muscle. You do need to practice and practice and practice and practice. But one of the things that you could do is Kara, Kara talks about habit stacking and it's you habit stack monthly planning. So like the first week, if you've never, I mean, I don't know where you are in your planning um, experience, but if like even just putting things into time blocks is new to you, maybe this week you just focus on one of my favorite lines is planning can be the goal. Yes. Yes, it can. Trust me. 
that's where people get stuck is they want all the like all the goals and all the things but they haven't gotten Sunday planning down and you can't really like so just so you're a perfect example and I'm not trying to call you out this is exactly where people get stuck people meaning me myself is like okay I have this goal I broke it down but then I never put exactly where I was going to do each step so then the execution gets lost and a lot of people forget that Kara's, Kara's planning method is not, um, it's not just so that we can all have like a pretty plan for the week. Like there's a method to her madness. There's a reason it's very systematic. But again, if you've never planned that way before, it's like, wait, what just happened in 30 minutes? So you can have it stack it. So like I said, if you're if you're not even used to time blocking, it's okay, let me just get all the things in the planner for the week. So I can kind of see what I have going on. Then it's okay, now that I can see my I did that one week, then maybe this week I practice time blocking. And then maybe once you kind of feel comfortable with that, it's okay, then I'm going to add in my goal, 15 minutes. And then once I get comfortable with that, then I add in the routines, then the learning, then the other stuff. So you're just kind of practicing it and getting good at comfortable with each step rather than sitting down and feeling like I have to do all the steps on the first day. Oh, okay. I'm not saying it, I'm not starting necessarily from ground zero. Like I used to okay. do weekly planning, but my weekly planning was like, where are your work blocks? Make sure that you have all of your work hours in it and then where are all of the 50 gazillion kid activities and like did you account for all of the I call them taxi stops along the way to make sure every kid got to where they were supposed to go and then got picked up on the back end you know it was that kind of planning that I was doing mm -hmm. so I have fallen out of that habit as well so I'm trying to get back at a at a minimum to that first since that is familiar and then kind of add the time yeah. blocking and some of those other things on top of that. Okay, great. So I would say this okay. week you have your plan, like you're that. If you don't even have that yet, like the taxi stops and all the things, do that. And then it's once you have that figured out this week, and maybe you do it next week. Like maybe this week you just see how this first step goes, meaning like, I know at least what I'm cooking and I got the groceries and I'm just going to, that's like my win for this week. Right. Then, then it's okay. Then when I do my planning next week, I'm going to figure out where in my plan can I take the time to do the prep and like put it in your calendar, like an appointment. How does that feel? Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so this week it's just getting your back on track with the planning, and then maybe next week we add in the little the time for the goals, including when you're going to prep. Is there anything else you're working on besides that? So I have a big project that's coming due in about a month or so, and I have one of those jobs that I have to do all of my stuff, but then things that everybody else feeds me to. And it's like the stuff everybody else feeds me is getting done, but my stuff isn't getting done. So I'm struggling with how to plan for that and actually get that done with everything else and all the rest of the chaos that's going on. So when I talked to Kara on Friday, it was to plan for that to be first on the list to do um, as opposed to the afternoon stuff. So I'm still monitoring that to see if that is actually effective or not. So more to come like next week on that part. Okay. Yeah. Practice that and then let us know. How oh, that's going. Thank and you, then it's, it's planning, planning your stuff in first. That's part of the, that's why it's so uncomfortable. That's why Kara's planning system just seems a little foreign. Cause it's like, Wait, I'm supposed to put my stuff in first and then everybody else's? Because we're so used to, I'm going to put in the appointments, the to-dos, and then whatever's left. But here's the thing. As we've all learned, whatever's left 
is going to get done. Like you're going to figure it out because that's stuff that needs to get done. So if you put in your stuff first, because you need to be intentional about that. And then if you kid needs toothpaste, you're going to figure out how to get your kid toothpaste, right? Like those are the kind of things that you're just going to, they're just going to get done. So do your stuff first. And then I'm, I'm speaking to, I'm speaking to the whole. When I get stuff done for me, I do more for the family and with a better attitude. Yes. 110%. Yes. 